Hi there, I'm John from ActiveJR and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Garmin Phoenix 5 wrist-based heart rate sensor. Now I've had a number of questions um, uh, on comments on videos, on my other social platforms uh, about whether I feel the Garmin Phoenix 5 uh, built-in HR sensor is comparable to a, a, a chest strap. Now I think anyone that's uh, already got a Phoenix 3 or as um, is relatively knowledgeable in uh, in this area will know that a chest strap will always be the go-to place to get accurate HR readings or as accurate as they can be without using specialist equipment that's in a lab. Um, so this video is focusing on uh, a comparison between the Garmin Phoenix 5, the Garmin Phoenix 3 and I'll be using a chest strap as a baseline uh, to see uh, where the variations take place. Okay, a lot of people already know that when you're using a wrist-based HR monitor, uh, such as one in the Phoenix 5 or the Phoenix 3 or a Fitbit Charge HR, um, that you, uh, the accuracy will be reduced if you are doing exercises that involve the arms or the hands, so such as boxing, press-ups, uh, weight training, uh, and in some cases cycling. So what I chose to do in this video is do three exercises that I know it would affect but I wanted to see how accurate between both devices uh, compared to an HR strap it, uh, they were uh, to be able to uh, answer that question that I've been asked how accurate is the Phoenix 5 compared to the Phoenix 3 so the exercise that I chose to use were a cycle ride uh, outside um, a, um, a, a indoor rowing and uh, some weight training involving the harms uh, so before we go into the main video, I'd just like you to uh, check out the uh, links on the left which are to uh, some of my other social platforms. If you can take a look there, please like, uh, subscribe to any of them pages as I do push information out there that I may not push out on YouTube. Uh, so thanks very much and uh, let's get straight into the videos. Hi right, guys, so let's just jump into uh, looking at some of the data. So as I said before, uh, I've got three data sets, one from a heart rate strap the other from the Phoenix 5 and the other set of data from a Phoenix 3 HR. Uh, what I've done is I'm using a, uh, a piece of software called Golden Cheetah, which is a um, software tool to analyze uh, ride and fitness data. It, uh, it's primarily used for, uh, for riding and uh, the reason for that is a power meter based um, a piece of software to analyze power meter uh, data. But I'm using this in this case to look at the heart rate data and I've scaled it all the way back so it only focuses on the heart rate data. There's a lot more to this tool, but this video is not for that. So let's just get into uh, looking at uh, the first round of data, which is the outdoor bike ride. And what I'll do is I'll pull down into compare window the heart rate data for the chest strap. So you can see here you've got the chest strap data and it's peaking at 160 and then at the end peaking at 176. So what I'm going to do is grab the Phoenix 5 data and just have a quick look at that. So as you can see here you've got um, at the very beginning the heart rate data um, for the Phoenix 5 um, is not really in line with the chest strap and I would main, I would put this down to uh, I was doing a lot of stand up riding at this point and I was doing a lot of moving around uh, with my hands uh, but you can see towards the end of the ride it does stabilize itself apart from at this point here where the heart rate data from the chest strap goes up and it peaks at 176 177 but the chest the phoenix 5 takes a little bit of time to catch up uh, with the um, with the chest strap. Now this is at the end where I did a, uh, a little sprint and uh, I also stood up at one point as well to try and get some power and speed in. So you can see here it takes a little bit of time to catch up. It does catch up eventually but it does take a little bit of time to catch up. What I'm going to do now is pull the Phoenix 3 data in. So and I'm going to turn off the Phoenix 5. So you can see here um, it does a good job at uh, coming in line and towards the end just with the um, Phoenix 5 it stays in line all the way up until this point here again it does struggle to keep up uh, with the heart rate pace change uh, and it do, uh, however it does catch up at this point so turning that back on you'll see here that, that 
it's pretty much in line and it's pretty stable. So I would say for a outdoor cycle ride, um, it's pretty good the uh, Phoenix 5 and also the Phoenix 3 HR wrist um, monitor. See they are, uh, the averages are, uh, are pretty much in line, but you wouldn't expect them to change that much um, uh, for this particular exercise. So just go down to the heart rate zones uh, and again uh, uh, the heart rate zones, there's not much difference in between them. Um, it's literally seconds in those zones. So I'd say for the um, outdoor um, cycle ride, the Phoenix 5 is pretty much in line with the heart rate strap, but it's also, uh, it's also in line with the Phoenix 3. So let's now go to the indoor rowing. What I'm going to do is grab the heart rate strap data first. Let's click onto the ride. You can see here, this case, I um, accidentally paused uh, for this period of time, so this wasn't a dropout in data. I uh, I paused so for roughly a um, a minute. There was no strap data, but you'll see when I pull in the Phoenix Five data, um, it's pretty much um, it's pretty much way out. A lot of hand and uh, wrist movement. And you can see here uh, the strap data was showing a one forty four uh, heart rate whereas the Phoenix 5 was 108. So that's way under um, the uh, chest strap data. And uh, this would give you uh, pretty poor readings. At this point, it drops out for about 20 seconds. There's no explanation for this. It wasn't stopped. Um, and it, it just, uh, the data just wasn't available. You see here how it carries on. It's pretty much flatlining all the way through. And the most it peaks to is about 120 when my heart rate was at 160 according to the chest strap. Uh, you can see the average heart rates are well out as well. So if we just pull in the Phoenix 3, let's look how that compares. The Phoenix 3 compares pretty well to the Phoenix 5. So if you were just uh, doing a comparison side by side. However, again, you know, uh, the data is, is out here. Uh, for the Phoenix 3 and Phoenix 5, so it's it, it's 125 at this point for the Phoenix 5, but it's 101 for the Phoenix 3, um, and uh, you know that's a different zone in some cases, it's a different heart rate zone for some people, so um, if you were heart rate zone training, it, it wouldn't be great data, you can see here it, it's pretty much in line, the Phoenix 3, uh, and it keeps going as it's there, but it's way out at this point, it's 101 uh, compared to a 153, so you're, in, uh, so you're in the tempo zone at this point. Um, and then it, again, at the Phoenix 3, it uh, it's more or less flatlining all the way through. No real variation, no real change, and there was a change in pace at this point. Whereas the Phoenix 5 caught that change in pace, um, the Phoenix 3 it stayed pretty much in line. So I'd say in this case, the Phoenix 5 wasn't... Uh, anywhere near close to the heart rate strap. However, I think it performed better than the uh, Phoenix 3 because it seemed to catch these um, spikes in uh, in pace that was changed. And uh, I noted these down and you can see the change in pace there and the change in pace there. Um, uh, just this anomaly here um, and uh, there's no explanation why. So if we move on to the weight training data, and uh, again, I will uh, pull the HR strap in first. As you can see here, there is the peaks and the troughs, as you would expect when you're doing weight training with, uh, with rest between. I'm going to pull the Phoenix 5 data across. And again, um, there is big variations. You can see here, the beginning, it's a 152 against a 120. Not out by that much, but it's enough to be able to put into a different heart rate zone. And again, there's a big variation here. It does seem to follow it up here correctly and then it sort of follows it towards the end apart from this point here. Now what I can put it down to, the reason why at this point here it starts to um, um, go in line is because I start to do tricep dips rather than um, uh, barbell work as I was doing here. Maybe that's what the difference was, I don't know. But it's still, it still keeps in line. I think it's it's pretty good but it's not it's not there so if we pull in the phoenix 3 hr data and again the phoenix 3 it suffers a a dropout in data here uh, for almost 
uh, for almost a minute. Um, and again, it was down to no uh, particular stop in time. Don't know why that happened. But you can see the Phoenix 3, and if you turn this off, it's pretty erratic uh, compared to the chest strap. Um, it's all over the place, going up at the wrong points, going down at the wrong points, and it's just it's just all over. Whereas the Phoenix 5, compared to the Phoenix, it does, you know, it, it does stay in line more or less. Okay, it's, it is under the heart rate of the chest strap, but it is staying in line uh, and it is it, it is old in its own. So I'd say in this case, the Phoenix 5 did perform better. So just to summarize, um, based on the data that I've seen and the use, uh, I would feel the Phoenix 5 performs better than the Phoenix 3. Um, for the HR uh, wrist-based sensor. If you really do want accurate um, HR data, you're always best to use a, a chest strap because uh, you'll certainly um, get a better result and a better uh, data set when you uh, when you finish your exercise. Uh, but I did notice that the Phoenix 5, when comparing to the chest strap data, did track and it did uh, it did go up and it did it did react to heart rate changes, um, and not as uh, not as much and it didn't close down the deltas between the HR strap and the Phoenix 5 but it certainly did track uh, more in line with the uh, with the base data which was the chest strap. Uh, the Phoenix 3 seemed to be erratic and at some points uh, dropping out when it should have been going up and reacting to the heart rate uh, changes uh, but overall uh, my advice always use a chest strap if you want really good accurate heart rate data uh, but the Phoenix 5 is a welcome improvement. So thanks very much for watching. If you've liked this video, please like it below and please check out all the other videos on the channel. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.